Hello guys. Welcome to what we want. A technology vlog. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit CDR files for free. For more information, visit our article. Link provided in the description. If you are new to our channel, click on the red color subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Without any delay, let's get started. What is a CDR file? A CDR file is a graphic design file that saves the entire image in the form of layers that are used in that particular file. This is mostly used in saving files with original quality and dimensions. The full form of CDR is Dr. R, a recordable compact disk format. These files are saved with the CDR extension and can be used with vector designing softwares. To keep the file without quality loss and ready to edit at any time, Graphic Designer stores their vector graphic files in CDR files. Number 1. Corel Draw Corel Draw is the finest vector designing software that helps you to edit CDR files with ease. This software comes with a very powerful and advanced user interface. This software suits best for professional graphic designers. Corel Draw Graphic Suite provides software for vector illustration, layout, photo editing, topography, and collaboration. As the CDR file extension is a supported format of Corel Draw, you can directly open and edit CDR files without any conversion. Highlights of Corel Draw Powerful software with advanced tools. Available in free trial and premium versions. Best for professional graphic designers. Compatible with Windows and Mac operating systems. Pricing. Corel Draw is a premium graphic designing software available for both Windows and Mac operating system. This is available in free trial version and premium subscriptions. Free trial version can be used for 15 days. How to edit CDR file using Corel Draw. Firstly, visit the official site of Corel Draw and download the latest version of the application according to your operating system. This is available for both Windows and Mac operating systems. Install and launch the application on your computer. Click on the File option available at the top left. An options list will open. Choose the Open option from that list. A window will pop up and allows you to choose the CDR file to import. After importing the file, you will find the interface as showing in the tutorial. It provides all the editing tools required to edit a CDR file. Edit the file as you like. Later, click on File option. An options list will open. Choose the Export option. A window will pop up and asks you to choose the destination and file types. It allows to save the file in various formats. Choose the format from that list. After choosing the options, click on Export to save the file successfully. Number 2. Inkscape Inkscape is an open source software that helps you to work with vector files. This is the perfect software for users who are looking for free vector editing software. This comes with a very simple interface and even a beginner can easily work with it. It allows you to edit different file types like CDR, EPS, SVG, SVGZ, PDF, and I. Inkscape can open and edit CDR files directly even though it is free open source software. So, no need to convert the CDR file to work on Inkscape. Highlights of Inkscape Open source software Easy to handle Compatible with Windows, Mac, GNU, Linux, Source Archive Regular updates you are allowed to open and edit CDR files without any conversion. Pricing Inkscape is free open source vector editing software, available for various operating systems like Windows, Mac, GNU, Linux, and Source Archive. You can download the software from its official site absolutely for free. How to edit CDR files for free using Inkscape Firstly, 
Visit the official site of Inkscape and download the latest version of the application according to your operating system. It is available for various platforms like Windows, Mac, GNU, Linux, and Source Archive. Install and launch the application on your computer. As this is an open source software, no registration is required to use the application. Click on the File option available at the top left corner. An options list will open. Choose the Open option from that list. Then a window will pop up. Choose the file from that window and click on Open. After importing the file, you will find the interface as shown in the tutorial. To get the layers available in the file, click on the Objects option available in the top menu. Then, Layers and Objects tab on the right side of the window. From there, you can choose a particular layer to edit. After the completion of your editing process, go to File option. An options list will open. Choose the Export option. A tab will open on the right side. Choose the destination to save the file by clicking on the file icon. Also, choose the output file format by clicking on the format option. Later, click on the Export option to save the file. Number 3. Adobe Illustrator Adobe Illustrator is one of the famous graphic designing software that comes with a very user-friendly interface. It provides all the latest professional tools required to edit vector files. This is a trusted software from the family of Adobe. It has a huge fan base across the globe. It allows you to edit CDR files by converting them into iFormat. This is available in free and premium versions. It is compatible with Windows and Mac operating systems. Highlights of Adobe Illustrator Easy to use Intuitive user interface 100% safe and secure Available in free trial and premium versions Compatible with Windows and Mac operating systems Pricing Adobe Illustrator is available in free trial and premium versions for Windows and Mac operating systems. The prices of Adobe Illustrator are as shown in the tutorial. How to convert CDR file into Illustrator file. CDR file cannot be edited directly on Adobe Illustrator. So, to edit a CDR file, you need to convert the CDR file into Illustrator file. There are a lot of online conversion tools to convert the CDR file to other formats. Here, I'm using Zamzar Online File Conversion Tool. Go to Zamzar official site. Click on the Choose Files option and choose the CDR file to import. In the next step, click on the Convert to option. Then it shows various file formats. Choose the I format from that list. Finally, click on Convert Now option. That's it, the file starts to convert the file. Later, click on Download to start the downloading process. How to edit CDR file using Adobe Illustrator. Visit the official site of Adobe Illustrator and download the latest version of the application. Install and launch the application on your computer. Click on the Open option. A window will pop up. Choose the converted CDR file from that window and click on Open. Then you will find the interface as showing in the tutorial. On the right side, you will find the layers available in that file. You can use the tools available at the left side to edit the file. After the completion of edit, click on the File option. Then an options list will open. Mouse over the Export option and choose the Export as option. Then a window will pop up and allows you to choose the destination to save the file. Modify the name if needed and choose the destination. Later, click on Export. A window will pop up to modify the PNG settings. Modify if needed and later, click on OK. That's it, this is how you can edit CDR file using Adobe Illustrator. Number 4, Vectornator. 
Vectornator is a free vector software available for Mac users. This supports creating and editing Illustrator files with ease. It has a very clean and professional user interface. Vectornator can be used to edit CDR files after converting them into an Illustrator format like iFormat. Even though this is a free software, it provides all the professional features available in premium software. Highlights of Vectornator Creator detailed vectors using pen, node, brush, and shape tools. Allows you to add ADK icons from the Iconator library to your designs. Compatible with Adobe Illustrator and Creative Cloud. Topography tool with full control. Can be used on Mac, iPhone, iPad, and iMessage apps. Pricing. Vectornator is available for free and can be downloaded from App Store. It can be accessed to use on iPhone, Mac, iPad, and iMessage apps. How to edit CDR file for free on Mac using Vectornator. CDR files can't be edited directly in Vectornator. So, you need to convert the CDR file into any Illustrator format like I. Go to App Store on your Mac. Search for Vectornator and choose the application from the search results. Click on the download option to start the download process. Click on open option to launch the application. Click on the import option and choose the select file option. A window will pop up and allows you to choose the file to import. After importing the file, you will find the interface as shown in the tutorial. On the left side, it shows the layers available in the file. And, on the right side, you will find the editing options. After the completion of editing process, go to the file option. An options list will open. Choose the export option from that list. Then a window will pop up. From that window, you can choose the file format, quality, and other options as shown in the tutorial. Later, click on Export option. It asks you to enter the file name and choose destination to save the file. This is how you can edit CDR file using the Vectornator application. Number 5. CDR Viewer CDR Viewer is one of the best CDR Viewer software available for Mac users. This is a premium software that includes both the free trial and premium versions. It supports viewing various vector graphic files like EPS, SVG, CDR, etc. This can be downloaded directly from the App Store. Free version provides 30 credits which helps in viewing the CDR files and charges 1 credit for each file viewing. From this viewer, you can save the CDR file in an image format. Highlights of CDR Viewer 100% safe and secure. Previews vector files. Compatible with the latest macOS versions. Pricing CDR Viewer can be downloaded from the App Store for free. Hope you like this tutorial. For more information, visit our article. Link provided in the description. Subscribe to our channel for regular updates. And don't forget to hit the bell icon.